Welcome back, everybody. Time for some more Banner Lord as we continue our quest to build our own kingdom, which we now have a very fledgling kingdom at the moment. But uh, I'm talking to another perspective member of that kingdom uh, here in the tavern. And we're going to see if we can. He, this guy's a horse thief. He's the prince of horse thieves. I could use someone like you in my company. All right, 1889. Thank you. Join. Excellent. So. Uh, he is now a new companion. We're always looking for more of those because the more companions I can have, the more I can be putting additional folks uh, out and about, gathering soldiers, helping build my reputation, helping build my army. So we're going to continue to do that, and we're going to look for an opportunity to grab one more piece of that puzzle by grabbing another fief at some point. That's the, the goal for today's episode. This is a pretty big deal here. There's a, a major siege going on at Tubalus Castle, and we are hoping to see Tubalus Castle hold against these guys. But the good news is either way, they're going to be losing a lot of men. I'd love to join up with these other folks and help out here, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But I could jump in over here. That could not only allow me to help with a fight uh, and see some of my enemies destroyed, but also maybe make some friends in the process. So you can see here that by jumping in, we're going to be on the advantage side. So that's a good place for us to be. Okay, so here we go. We'll watch these guys kind of take the lead. On my flank! Have my folks follow. This is a beautiful spot to hold if they would just decide to stick stick at it right here we could we could throw our archers up on top of this hill and be in a beautiful position to take him on as he comes down through there but it doesn't look like that's what they're going to do so Bowman! i'm gonna go ahead and stick my Move! 72 ranged troops right up here footman! i'll put my footman Move! down there footman! and then i'll get these guys to follow me Follow me! Let's do this. Actually, I'm going to kind of sit tight and let them come into range of my, my bowmen. And then as soon as they get a little closer, they hit our foot soldiers. All right, we got to get go deal with these guys over here. They're coming right at my people. That was smart on his part. He sent his mounted troops right at my archers, which is what he should have done. So I'll lose a few, but we'll take care of them in the end. down some of these guys that are taking off. I think we got him. Excellent. So there, we wiped out a significant portion of that army. And every little bit right now helps me. Because that's the country I'm at war with. And it also helps me with these guys. So the little things that I can do, to uh, uh, that gains me a skill point in charm. So we're going to look for these opportunities to charm our friends. To get them on our side. And hopefully, eventually, to get some of them to join my kingdom okay speaking of war looks like he went to go break the siege here's our chance to get involved in another big battle and once again turn the tide once again hurt my enemies and make new friends all right here we go follow me so we're just gonna follow them for now we're gonna come in and turn the tide of this battle Attack! 
Everybody just attack. Force archers again. Hate these guys. Until I have them on my side, and then I love them. Alright, here's the enemy over here. The real enemy, I should say. The bulk of his, his army. I'm going to go over here and help against the mounted troops. We'll make sure we turn that tide first before we deal with the... Uh, the foot soldiers. Oh, I think we got them all. Oh yeah, love to see lots of green on that list. Means we're wiping them out pretty fast. We gotta get over here at his archers. These are pikemen over here. We gotta be careful of these guys. Oh yeah, that was very one-sided battle. I love it. And that was a, a pretty substantial force. He was somewhere around 500 men when he started besieging that castle. And now he's completely lost that army. I love it. I made the size of the armies a little bigger, and I think it's affecting my performance a little bit. So I think we're going to drop it back down to like 500. But you can see there, 34 dead in our defender army, 140 dead in his. Just an absolute rout. Once again, that's a big deal because that's hurting my enemies and hopefully making new friends. That's the goal. That's going to be kind of the, the name of the game here. So let's see. Oh, we didn't really get a chance to talk to him in that one. I was hoping we would. Maybe it's because we already did. I'm not here to deliver any demands, no. Uh, what do you think of your liege? I would like your support. I barely know you. Yeah, I know. And I don't have honor going for me right now, so that's kind of a problem. That's the, the negative from all of the uh, beheadings that I did earlier. So it doesn't look like we're going to be changing this guy's tune at all today. All right. All right, so our latest exploits have gained us another uh, perk in leadership. Additional 20 morale at the beginning of the battle when you are defending, or additional 20 morale when you are attacking. Uh, I feel like right now attacking would be the greater benefit for me. Let's go ahead and switch over to our party now. So we've got a lot of leveling up to do. Could probably use a couple of pikemen. So... Right now, I've got a pretty motley crew here. Just kind of a little bit of everything. We're going to try to make that a little more uniform before too long. But for now, I think we're good. The main thing I want to look at before I finish leveling these guys up is anybody that we can potentially add to our army right now. There we go. So that gets me... Uh, what do we have? 149. There's all these Aserai armies that are just kind of following me but the second i turn around to pursue they take off running and the size of my force is making it very hard for me to catch up to any of these guys right now you see what i mean as soon as i turn around they take off all right so i've got the biggest army that i've had for quite a while 243 men we're gonna see what we can do we're we're deep into his territory now and I want to be careful here because I know he's got some big armies around. But I'm looking for something that I might be able to do to him to maybe draw out a force that I could defeat in the field. Because everybody seems to be running away from me rather than being willing to fight. And they're all, you can see, they're all kind of just split into these little forces that if they if he would ever turn like actually try to form an army like this all these guys are pretty close so this is gonna be 
this is going to be a tough battle. So we're going to see how it goes. First, I'm going to try to change his mind. So let's see, what would it take for, uh, no, actually, I want to try and convince him. I'm the rightful ruler of this land. That honor's really hurting me right now. Because all my best options involve that. Yeah, nothing's being effective. Boy, I wish I could do better than that. This one's 84%, but I don't think that's going to be enough to get this done. We need like a, a critical success, and we're not going to get it. I think that's it. Okay, let's fight. All right, here we go. So even though he outnumbers me, it's considered pretty even odds because of the uh, the nature of the forces that we have. Forward, archers! I'm gonna pull my archers back to a little Forward! higher ground here, and then we're gonna spread Stand them out. Apart. Footmen! I don't have a lot of Move! horsemen these days compared to the rest of my forces anyway these are probably going to be I'm going to send them over that way although my range units ought to be able to take out most of them as you can see that's what they're doing alright so now Let's get ready. Soon as they get close, we're gonna give our range units a chance to do a little more damage here. And charge. Same with these guys. Go. All right. And this is what I got to be careful of here. There's additional horse soldiers, but it looks like we got over at them in time. So, even though he outnumbered me by something like 80 men, this is turning into a rout. enough of that I like these planes I, I honestly I like the Acerize battlefields a lot the the sand the planes it's pretty cool Oh, somebody else's horse got behind me and messed me up. All right, everybody's got to charge at this point. Ah. Yeah, I'd say this one's in the bag. All over but the final score, as they say. A lot of pikemen over here still are a danger to my horsemen. Oh, there goes my horse, and soon after will go me. But that's okay, this thing's pretty much over now. We'll watch a few of his guys. Actually, that's one of my guys who just got taken out. Alright, so right now, 
175 killed, 108 wounded for him. We've lost just 21 killed. What a disaster for him. That's outstanding. All right, let's see how this ends up. Okay. So there you have it. Pretty substantial victory. Big amount of renown and influence to go along with defeating a major army in the field like that. Now, the, the good news is that we did that so well that we're in a position to do it again. If we can find another such force. Obviously, I've got more prisoners than I can probably handle. So we're going to have to make some choices here. We're going to dump all these recruits. We don't really need them. I think I can handle everybody else. No, nope, we're still slightly over the limit. we got to dump one more, maybe two. All right. So that's a lot of prisoners. So we'll have to probably think about unloading them. But my army's pretty much intact, and I just wiped out a slew of his men. But we're obviously going to be operating pretty slow now. i got to be really careful here because um, there's still 447 men inside that town. And I'm in a position where he could really mess me up if I don't get around and get to safety somewhere. All right, I think we're good now. He's going to try to pursue me with another substantial force, so I may turn around and try to hit them as well. All right, we did. We ran right into him. And once again, pretty even odds, but I'm feeling really good about my chances here. Let's see if one more time we can try to talk these guys into our side, though. Again, I'm not, I'm not feeling great about my chances of doing that. I probably should have gone with the other one. It was a 74% chance, even though honor was not on my side. Unless I get a critical success on this next one, I have no chance at all. I got a success, but again, we needed four. We're not going to get it. All right. So let's fight. This time, much more even odds. It's 226 to 217, so I'm feeling a lot better about this. And then there's another 55 men right behind him. And what's nice is that by gaining the... Follow me! Um, the renown that comes with winning these battles, that allows me to form an even bigger army by recruiting more of the... Forces that are fighting for me, but not necessarily Move! with me. Archers! And this is Forward! a really nice. Stand apart! This is a really nice Infantry! battleground for me here. Here come the horsemen. So we're going to ride up and meet them real quick. Although my ranged troops are probably going to deal with them pretty quickly. The rest of his forces are still pretty far off. All right, go after him that way. Forward! All right, I think we're good. He just He's kind of flipping us around a little bit. But we'll get back in our regular formation once these guys are dealt with, which it looks like they are. Okay, good. So back to where we were, just in time for the rest of his forces to arrive. We're going to watch for the rest of his mounted troops because I want to protect against those. Because he's got a lot more of them than I do. Here comes his horde up and over the hill. We haven't actually taken any of them out with my ranged troops just yet. But once they get a little closer, we should start getting some kills. There we go. And I want to keep my horsemen back to protect my archers. Arrow! Infantry! Attack! Footmen! Move! Give them hell! Okay. Now it's my turn. Get away from my archers. Get away from my archers. Yeah, I think we got this one. Oh, I was way late on swinging that sword. Beautiful. 
Another annihilation of an Asurai army in the field. That was beautiful. Ten killed, nine wounded. We took out 200 of his men. Another guy captured. I think at this point we're going to go ahead and ride back and deal with these prisoners. And I'm not going to execute any more of his lords. We're definitely going to have to unload now. We've got a ton of prisoners, way more than we can handle. So we're going to get 8500 for ransoming all these prisoners that I brought back with me. We're going to get a ton more of value from trade of all the loot. And I'm actually going to sort it by value. So you can see here, starting with this very valuable shield, which is going to become my new shield. And uh, most of this other stuff, I think, I might be able to equip some of my other folks with. But for now, honestly, I just need the money. I don't want to trade the horses, though. I'm going to keep all the horses that I can. Because uh, the more I recruit these mercenaries in the field, the more it's going to cost me. But the quicker I'm going to gain much re needed renown to make a bigger army. Eventually, I'm going to get an army that's big enough to actually besiege one of those castles. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to be in the na neighborhood of the 500 or so range to really seriously have a chance at threatening one of those castles. Because he will get a huge force arrayed against me. So even now, I've already got 16,000. There's still a lot more I can sell. So there you have it, twenty, almost 21,000 for all the loot that I got. So that's about 30,000 total between the prisoners I ransomed and the loot that I got. And that'll, that'll fund my army for a little while longer. I've got a lot of folks still to upgrade. I've, I'm down to almost, or only about 82 men in my specific force. So this army even now could get a lot bigger. So managing my army, I'm looking here to see what I can do to make it stronger, to add additional forces. Uh, I can get these. Oh, these guys are already in my party. So I want to look and see, first of all, who's close, and second of all, who's available. Uh, I can only add one. Honestly, I'm not sure that the amount of available influence that I have is worth adding folks that are going to take three days to catch up to me. So I think for now, we're just going to hold off and hang on to what I have. And look at this. A huge army is actually laying siege. And it looks like my old kingdom, the Volandians, uh, are laying siege to this town. So we're going to um, see if we can do anything. I know they're, I am not their favored people in the world. Um, but here's an opportunity to help him out and maybe gain just a little bit of favor back with folks that once I considered allies. So here we go. This is a pretty big siege that we're a part of here. And I'm wondering if it's going to allow me to actually control my own men this time. Oh, I do. Okay. Well, some. It's interesting how they're all kind of... After me! sorted at the moment. I've got 23 of my own men. The rest have not entered in just because of the number of soldiers that are available to actually participate uh, on screen. We're, we're limited to about 500 men on screen at the moment, so uh, obviously we'll get a lot more reinforcements. So we're just going to kind of sit back and chill, and we will join the final assault once it gets that far. And in the meantime, I might be able to pick off a few guys on the walls while they work on taking out this castle. Oh, nice. Aim a little higher. Man, this guy doesn't want to die. Got him. Okay. Alright, so I'm looking over here, and man, this is a tough castle to assault, because look at the hill that we've got to go up. But it looks like they're... The, Battering Ram's doing its job. They got a siege tower somehow up that hill. Uh, meanwhile, these guys have been hurling rocks down on us, and they have been killing quite a few of our men. Uh, none of mine personally. One of mine's been wounded, but we have lost 23 on our side. I've killed a few. Got another one. There we go. So I've killed three so far. Let's see if I can get this guy. Alright, keep moving. 
All right, are we through? I think we're through. Now, I don't want to... <laughs> Last time I did this, we got in and then everybody ran. So I want to be careful of that here. Especially since a lot of our force still hasn't even shown up on the battlefield. But I'll help uh, knock down the gate. Let's do it, boys. It's only 23 of my men so far. Yes, I'm hacking away at a gate with my sword. Not the best thing that's ever happened to a sword. I wonder if I could shoot these guys through these areas. Probably not. I'm not going to try. Knock it down, boys. Casualty's pretty one-sided so far. That'll change once we get into the castle. Honestly, I got tired of trying to hack away at that gate, so we're going to go up through the siege tower and see what fun we can get into here. Been a lot of people dying. You can see that his army, which is starting to lose numbers finally, uh, has inflicted pretty significant casualties. But we do have people up in the siege tower finally, so let's dive into this. There, I got three quick kills from behind. Make that four. All right, boys, let's do this. Come on. Yes! Oh, I was hoping he would fall. Yes! This is going to be a record for me for kills in a battle, I think. I'm up to ten personal kills already. I don't know who's left. I think we've pretty well taken it. Everybody charge, wherever you are. That force that was guarding the gate may still be down here somewhere. Or maybe not. Yeah, everybody's coming through the gate now. I think we got them. There it is. We've taken the castle. I mean, it's not going to do me any good, but it hurts my enemy. And so the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Hopefully it gains me a little bit of reprieve against my former friends. Truly, you are the best of friends. Again, you save our necks. Well... I hope that that's the way you see it. I'm not sure how much that's going to help my relationship with those guys, but uh, I guess we'll see. So taking a look now at the situation with diplomacy, you can see now that his total strength is still about 5,100. So uh, even though we've inflicted serious casualties uh, compared to what we've taken we're really not making a dent in his overall strength uh, so even though he's fighting against other folks so we're just going to keep on plugging away we're going to keep building that influence building our renown and hopefully eventually it comes to something so we're at 60,000 right now in dinars and that's a lot of money and it's about to be a whole lot more because uh, we've got folks to ransom and we've got a lot of loot to trade. Uh, so we're going to see where we're at after that. I'm guessing we're going to probably be up around 80. I didn't have nearly as much loot as I thought I did. So we're only actually at about 68 now. Um, I do want to go back into the trade screen, though, because I notice I'm getting a little lower than I'd like to be on food. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and gather some up. I'm also going to look and see if they have any war horses. And it doesn't seem like they do, so... We'll get some food, we'll stock up a little bit, and we might get into one more battle, and then I think we're going to call this an episode, because a lot's happened. All right, that'll help us out. So we're able to uh, level up here, uh, and there's actually been some patches to the game that allow this to happen a lot faster than it's been happening for me so far. Um, shield bash, no. 4% increased weapon speed bonus whenever a player has a one-handed weapon wield. Uh, sure, why not? We'll do that. I think that's all I've got right now. I'm at level 13 at the moment. Uh, we had a quest about uh, stopping a conspiracy, and this conspiracy strength's been gaining, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Okay, so I think this will be our last fight. We caught up with another 80, uh, 81 Asurai men, so we're going to go ahead and take them out. And I, th I think we can, uh, if we can't first talk him 
into joining our side, which as long as my honor is negative like that, I think I'm going to have a really rough time making this happen. We've got to be perfect with these last three. This one's 84% chance. What we need now is we need a critical success. Can we get it? We got it. Hey, looks like we're going to flip this guy. Excellent. Need some support from me before he will join me. But uh, that's worth it if we can make this happen. So how much of a bribe will it take, sir? Well, that's... N Holy cow, dude. No. <laughs> I guess not. I guess you have to die instead. Sorry, but that's just the way it's going to be. Okay, so we've got more horsemen now. Um, although I have lost taken some casualties in the last few battles Soldiers! as you can see my force is down Move! below where it was still that said we should be fine loose, loose formation. formation with those guys Infection! we've got four horse archers now something tells me oh it looks like he's trying to uh trying to flank us a little bit here he doesn't seem too keen to fight so Follow me, boys. We're going to have to chase him down. Looks like this might be a good spot, too. Infantry! We'll get our infantry down right in here in this Forward! valley. Infantry! Archers? Get our archers to stay back where they are. Move! Actually, let's send the archers up into these Forward! woods. Footmen! Put the Forward! footmen up that way. Everybody else can follow me. You'll probably act now. Okay, here we go. Charge! Horse, arch, attack! Horse archers go. Oh, he's going to try to get around on my flanks and hit my ranged troops, which makes total sense. Gotcha. Come on. Oh, that was one of my guys. I'm trying to kill one of my own men. Great job. I didn't even send my infantry into this attack yet. They were just holding back. Hey now, that was not a nice thing to do to my horse. There we go. I got a pretty, uh, pretty tough army going for me right now. I'm, I'm not as big as it was, but they're such skilled forces that. They win against even odds pretty much every time now. You can see there, again, unreal. 30 killed, 43 wounded, 8 captured, and didn't lose a man. And this is fighting on... Uh, I've got everything set to realism as far as my troops go. I plundered 4,000 gold, too. It's just that I've got so many men that are pretty high tier. I've got level 20, 25 soldiers here, so it's going pretty well for me. I'm going to wrap it up right there. I know we're not moving the story along as quickly as I would like to, but it really does take a long time to do this. This army's about to disband once that cohesion gets down, so we're going to, we're going to really build up this influence.
get it up to a substantial level to where I could really gather myself a significant force of four or five hundred men come in here and try to take one of these castles from these guys and get that third fief that I need. So let me know your thoughts about all that. Use that comment section below. And the next episode will definitely be a live stream, probably less than 24 hours after this one. This one's going to go up late tonight. Uh, so tomorrow we will definitely have a live stream and uh, probably mid afternoon, I would guess. My, uh, my kids are, are I have some things going on that I have to kind of square away and figure out that time frame. But I'll post as soon as I know and let you know what time that'll be. Thanks for watching.